Welcome and thanks so much for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Deb Gillard, your host, and today is Monday, July 16th, right in the middle of the month and right in the middle of the heat wave. We are in the hot July and no doubt about it, we've had plenty of it. Hope you are finding ways to uh, be out and about and still stay cool and safe and, uh, and or are just staying in the, in the cool confines as much as you can. We are in, in another stretch of hot weather this week. Hope you had a great weekend. We are very pleased that you're with us on Charter Channel 8 Cable TV in the Owatonna area or if you have found us out on the internet and there are lots of places to do so, you can just plain old Google us, Owatonna Today Show, and you'll find us. We are out there on YouTube and blip.tv and also have a Facebook page. So once you go there and find us, please hit the uh, thumbs up like and you will get notified when we have our new shows uploaded for the week. And please do take note of our cell phone numbers and email address on the screen throughout the course of the show. We're happy to get information from you. We do pass along announcements at the end of the program about things that are going on in the community, um, as well as sometimes we get some of our great guest ideas and show topic ideas from you as well. Uh, as far as our supporters go, we would like to welcome Festival of the Arts as a new supporter of the Owatonna Today Show, so welcome to them here as the show is, uh, the Festival of the Arts is almost upon us. We've got a great show for you today. First of all, we'll be heading out on location. Owatonna Arts Center's Secret Garden Tour is coming up this Sunday, and we had the pleasure of visiting with Don and Verna Thede and their beautiful gardens. Give you a little taste of what's to come this Sunday. A little bit later on, we'll be back in studio with Cake Paparazzi, and I'll just leave it at that, and we're going to find out more later on. So let's take this break for our supporters, and we'll head out on location. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. Recreational fires are allowed within the Owatonna city limits. They must be contained within a fire pit or a device designed for such use and can be three feet in diameter and no more than three feet high. They must be 25 feet from a building or combustibles. Only untreated or unpainted woods must be used. Fires must be attended by a person at all times that are capable of extinguishing the fire. This has been a safety tip from the Owatonna Fire Department. Hi, we're Mark and Becky Stevens of the Owatonna Pizza Ranch. And we support the Owatonna Today Show. And we open on location for the Owatonna today on a beautiful site. It is going to be a list, just a little bit of what you'll see on the upcoming Owatonna Arts Center Secret Garden Tour that is coming up this Sunday, July 22nd, begins at 10 and goes until 4 o'clock. And we are very, very pleased to be, well, we're kind of perched on a hillside here. <laughs> As is Leanne behind the camera, we must say we were just commenting on uh, how she's got the tripod pod perch, but we definitely want to thank, thank Verna Thede. Thank you for uh, inviting us to your home. Thank you for coming. And Don, how are you, Don? I am great. Great. A little bush, but we're going to get through it. Uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, we were just saying it's kind of like getting ready for the wedding or the graduation or yes. something. Everything needs to get done by a certain date so that everybody can, can come here and enjoy. And our viewers might remember that we were at this location, I think we're guessing about three years ago now, to I talk about... So salad garden and how you had that growing and this hill this very hill where we're standing was either just begun or a work in progress but in any case this has been no small feat so Leanne opened up on and what's at the bottom of the hill and what is that Verna? At our rain garden it okay. was a uh, funded by partially by a city grant mm -hmm. they did several of those and they're doing them again this year but yep. yeah finished up last year so that was the culmination of the whole hillside project. The hillside project. And as our viewer saw, as, as Leanne worked her way up the hill with the camera, there are a lot of massive rocks in here. And I said, wow, how did you do that? Now, that's really the only, really the only part of all this landscaping that we're going to see that you, you needed extra help. That's right. We had a big, uh, big machine come in and dig the holes, plant the rocks. Mm -hmm. And what you see exposed is about uh, a fourth of it. The rest mm -hmm. is in the ground, in the hillside. Okay. And I was informed there's about 56 ton of rock 
on the hillside. Oh. The big guys. So you and but all these other ones here, anything smaller that you were able to do, you were. And Verna calls you something. You and your tractor. What does she call you guys? The 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 engineer. Yeah, yeah, and, and the workhorse. I the guess workhorse engineer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I and my kabuda. You are the manual labor in many yes, cases yes. here, and I'm sure Verna chips in as well too. But yes, she does. Okay. Oh yeah, she's. We've got some stories we could tell, but we'll keep those amongst ourselves. <laughs> or tell them on the day of the Secret Garden Tour yeah, if people are that. passing through here and want to hear some stories. So, how long did it take you to get ready for the Secret Garden Tour? 38 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going to make a lot of people not want to do, no, I'm kidding. But it, it really is. And you've got a nice little story here in, in the write-up, Verna. And tell us a little bit about how all of this came into being. Well, I guess when we were looking for a place to buy, we wanted to move into, out into the country and found this little gem. And so we have three acres within city limits. And it's just a peaceful setting. And we've really, really enjoyed it. So started with a as we put it, uh, blank canvas as an artist would, and then mm -hmm. just started filling in as we went. So little well. by little, it's we've finally finished it, I think, almost. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she says with great certainty. In any case, we wanted to start out here, but we do want to give you a couple of other uh, looks here. And, and by no means will this give the extent of everything that is here at the Thetis. And of course, there are many, other, many others on the Secret Garden Tour as well. But let's just kind of cut around the side of the house, and I think we're going to see some uh, vegetable gardening next. Should we do that? Correct. Okay. Yes. We've moved around to the side of the home, and I was just commenting to Verna as we were walking here. It seems it, it, it's such a beautiful location and setting. It seems as if you have more than three acres. It's wonderfully laid out. It sometimes feels like more than three acres <laughs> when we're too. working on it, but that's what it is. Yeah, and yeah. it it's just it's a little slice of heaven, as we call it. So. It is. And over on the west side here, we have your vegetable garden. Now you each have roles in the vegetable garden, and yours is the. Uh, Take caretaker of it? Pretty much planting, taking care of it, okay. uh, picking, uh, harvesting, you know, whatever. And yes. And Don's is? I'm the eater. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have one of those. Yes, I mean, yeah. I think you've this earned it after all. <laughs> you after you and your tractor kabuta running around, I think you've earned yeah. some of that. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay. Okay. exactly. okay, so what kinds of things are you growing in there? Uh, basics, onion, beets, carrots, tomatoes, uh, lettuce, uh, potatoes, mm -hmm. string beans, uh, peppers, because okay. I, I do, I make a lot of salsa and spaghetti sauce and that with a lot of tomato bases, so. Okay. And they're all doing pretty well this year? Eh, uh, my garden out at the community garden is actually doing better than the one here at home is because it really? I have a lot of shade here and it's uh, water, 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 so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's Got coming, it. but it, it's a little pokier than okay. my, uh, the other one. And there's no spot left unbeautified here, I might say. So then as we curve around and get behind us, I know Leanne is going to focus on some of the uh, beautiful landscaping around the tree. Um, love ferns. I have quite a few daylilies and, of course, the, the old faithful hostas. Mm -hmm. um, just like to add, as you can see when you travel around my garden, I like the color blue. So I have a lot of additional things that I place into the garden that are blue. And I... I guess I don't really have a plan when I do my gardens. I just buy things and put them in the ground and okay. keep moving them until I figure <laughs> out where I'd like to have them for a while. So. Is she more the brains behind this and you're more the brawn? Am I getting that distinct impression? Yes, you're right, Deb. You're right. <laughs> do you ever look out and say, um, and make some suggestions as to where you think things I should go? I just keep quiet. Do you? Just follow orders. And you love everything the way it turns out, uh, yes. turns out yes. I can imagine. Yep. She's okay. got a, quite an art. Okay. Quite a hand in her digging in the dirt. That's her thing. Yeah, and we, you know what, and we have certainly, of course, as far as maintenance is concerned, you were talking about water, water, water. We've had a stretch here of no rain, and of course you have to be diligent to keep these gardens and flowers and plants beautiful, don't you? I, I hope somebody comes along on Sunday and hands me a $50 bill to help sort of the water bill, because <laughs> we've okay. been water night and day. I don't know if that's a plea or not, but we can take it as such, I guess. Those of you attending, anyway, we do want to uh, make sure we catch, there's a beautiful little garden on the side, and we want to catch a little bit of the front of your home, so let's go do that now. And we're on the east side of the house now of Don and Verna Thede, and uh, of course being featured on the Owatonna Arts Center Secret Garden Tour coming up. We're going to give you the uh, details again at the very end, but very tranquil uh, fountain, little water, little waterfall fountain, I don't know what you call it, but it's very peaceful. 
We started out thinking we were going to do a pond with a two-level thing, and then it's really close to our grandchildren's sandbox, so we kind of rethought that. Okay. And so we did the bubbling rock instead, but okay. they still have fun with it. So, this well, and they actually have fun in this area. This is kind of designed for them to take part, and let's let's give Grandpa the opportunity to credit the grandkids. And who are they? Well, we have uh, Logan is five-year-old, and Piper is two-year-old. Okay. And they both have their individual gardens here that Grandma helped them put together. Okay. The rabbit one is, of course, the grandson. Okay. And the angel, which, well, I don't know if Piper would call her an angel <laughs> or not, but this she is She considers garden. herself the angel. <laughs> She's, and that's hers. Okay. That's her garden there. Okay. And with Grandma's assistance. Oh, absolutely. So. Do you find that they've been quite interested in, in getting involved? I mean, you obviously are, and when they come to visit you, it's it's part of who you are and what you do, but do you find that there's some interest there? Oh, definitely, okay. yeah. And our grandson's always been, he'd rather play in the, dig in the dirt than to play in the sandbox, actually. So, okay. yeah, it's okay. kind of a natural thing for him, I think. And well, what a great thing to get them going on. It's rewarding, it's, I don't know, therapeutic in a way, I think, to be out here and creating and digging in the dirt and so on and so forth. So this is just a lovely little whimsical children's place, and I think it's so pretty here. Let's finish up at the uh, front of your home, shall we? Okay. And we kind of went backwards here. We started in the backyard. We're ending up in the front yard um, to finish our tour. And it's, it's so much of it is very beautiful, but you've also done things that are very economical, eco-friendly, um, and, and to attract certain things. And what have you done along those lines, Verna? Well, we're avid bird watchers, so we try to plant things that will attract birds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a wildflower patch in my vegetable garden in order to attract the beneficial insects. So, And I guess, you know, we I make my own compost. Um, mm -hmm. We try not to use any more chemicals than absolutely necessary. And uh, so, you know, we try to do things as green as possible, but and we love to recycle, so okay. you'll see a lot of things that have been recycled as okay. well as uh, new things. So. Well, it sounds like it's going to be very fun for you to welcome people to your showcase here in your show place and, and for the Secret Garden Tour. And I know appreciation goes out to you and Don and all the rest of the participants for the hard work that you put in and, and opening your homes for this. We can't wait. Yeah. We're excited. And, and then afterwards, you eat the fruits of the labor in the garden, and do you get to, get you get to, to relax? In, Deb, I get to sleep in once. <laughs> Not have the watering chores to oh, do every morning. It'll, it'll be just beautiful, and you get to relax a little bit the rest of the summer. But I, we know that folks are going to enjoy it, so please take part. It is this Sunday, July 22nd, again, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tickets are $10 in advance, $12 at the, on the day of the Secret Garden Tour. Um, there are six gardens. This is just one of five in town. One is out of town. And those tickets for, for yourself can be purchased at, purchased at Kotke's or at the Art Center. And then you will come to the Art Center on Sunday morning to get your map of the garden. This is just one of them, just a little taste. Make sure you support the Owatonna Art Center. Come and join Don and Verna and all the rest on the Owatonna Art Center Secret Garden Tour. Thanks for joining us. Hi, this is Dave Efforts with TPS Insurance, and we are proud supporters of the Owatonna Today Show. Hello, I'm Matthew Camp, the new plastic surgeon at Mayo Clinic Health System of Owatonna and Albert Lee. I trained in medical school at Wake Forest in North Carolina and completed plastic surgery training in Southern California at Loma Linda. Plastic surgeons provide a wide range of aesthetic and reconstructive surgery. We operate from head to toe. I look forward to meeting you. I didn't just want another job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. I was new to town and I didn't know where to turn for a job, so I decided to express myself. I decided to express myself and they helped find the right career for me. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Hi, I'm Doug Johnson with the Otana Business Incubator. We're here to help small businesses start and to grow. We're a proud sponsor of the Otana Today Show. Hi, my name is Dave Olson and I'm with RNK Electric where we provide power to the people. We're proud supporters of the Owatonna Today Show. Welcome back and thanks again for joining us on this Monday, July 16th and we hope you enjoyed a little taste of the Owatonna Arts Center's secret garden tour and we hope that you get out there and enjoy that. 
this coming Sunday. We welcome in studio Don Hovey. How are you? I am great. I'm excited to be here today and to share my business and yeah. give a little bit of information to the people in Owatonna what I do. Yeah, thanks for joining us. I just mentioned at the very beginning cake paparazzi and uh, so we're going to be talking about cake pops, which mm -hmm. are, I think our viewers can probably see here on the table. But first, let's get to know you just a little bit better. Are you a long-term resident here in the Owatonna Steel County I, area? I am. Okay. I have lived here for over 20 years, okay. about 21, and I have been married to my husband the same amount of time. I came to Owatonna to work at Dr. Beth's Guildfed's oh, office. Sure. I yeah. went to college for optometry. Okay. So how that led me to cake, I'm not sure. But <laughs> we'll I've get done to a that. variety of things through my <laughs> we life. We never know the paths that are no, going to get don't. us someplace. That's for sure. Okay, it's settled, married, family. Then I too? have three children. I have a daughter that's 15, a son that is 13, and another daughter that's nine. Okay, and they keep me very busy. <laughs> keep you very busy, and so. After the children came, um, we were just talking a little bit ahead of time, you uh, had not been out in, in the workforce, but something kind of caught your fancy here a few years ago, and it was cake pops. <laughs> yes, I was looking on Amazon, and a book had popped up that says, sometimes it says on Amazon, do you like this, <laughs> or right. you would like this, right. and yep. I thought, wow, that looks interesting, cake pops, what is that about? So I ordered it, and looked through all the pages, and oohed and odd over all the cake pops, and thought, I'm going to try to make those. So I got busy and realized they're not really that easy. I <laughs> made a lot of mistakes and couldn't figure it out, but I was determined to try and keep going. And once I finally did, I told my husband after several months of working on them that I think I could do this as a business. I love it. And we'll talk a little bit more about the trial and error, but you do have a little bit of baking in your background, though not necessarily it was not anything ever that you had ever done for work or really aspired to, mm -hmm. but you said your mom was a cake decorator. My mom decorated cakes for fun mm -hmm. and, and made them for people. She also did hair, and so I kind of learned how to decorate cakes and do hair okay. <laughs> as I grew up, neither of which I you know, had a, a license for or went in that path. I went for optometry instead. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it, but you kind of had that, that background. So mm -hmm. Having that background, even with mom, you know, just kind of making and decorating cakes that people seemed to, to really like when you were young and, and with your mom, what about this was different? I can't imagine. We have, as, as our viewers can see, we have little, little cakes mm -hmm. on little sticks with lots of little detail on it. That's all I know. And they, it, they're amazing. They're adorable. They're pretty. I, I assume they're, they taste wonderful. Um, I, I think you've got testimonials and and uh, and people coming to your business to prove it, but how in the, what were some of the trial and errors that you went through? Well, when you're working with a cold cake, because you have to put it in the freezer for just the right amount of time, and then you dip it into hot chocolate, and it's still very common yet today that they the chocolate as it as it starts to cool, it will crack. Okay, and. I didn't realize that <laughs> at all until that it would, I, every time they would crack, I would think, oh, we just got to throw them away. Or, you know, my children are always right there to eat them, <laughs> my husband especially. <laughs> and I, I just wasn't figuring it out that after two days, they will seal themselves back up. So wow. that took me a while to figure out okay. that it, it doesn't really work that well. Otherwise, if the cake gets too warm, as you're dipping it in the chocolate, it'll fall off in the chocolate. And I've had so many trial and errors with, with the cake pops that I, it, they have brought me to tears oh twice. No. Oh no, <laughs> only twice <laughs> so far. And I did get really upset, and I will admit this only once, that I did throw a cake pop across the room. <laughs> So frustrated. It doesn't cause too much damage, but it looks right. like now it's bringing more joy and rewards and smiles it than is. it is any it of the is. frustration. And, and of course, learning something new. And, and again, I think as delicate and beautiful as these are. So let's talk about some of the things. When you first got into it, then you said you were you were just kind of trial and error at home, and then said, "Okay, I'm ready to make this a business." Now, how did you do that? How did you know that people would respond to this kind of thing? Did you do a little test marketing? That's exactly what I did. I, I test marketed to the people in Owatonna, a lot of friends, family, okay. neighbors, uh, co-workers that, of my husband's, co-workers that I used to work with when I, a long time ago, and I would just bring cake pops in. Anybody who will eat a cake pop. Anybody. <laughs> and I had not heard one bad thing about them. Everybody okay. said, these are the best things ever. And so I said, well, do you think that if it was a business that you would actually buy something like this? And they said, absolutely. Okay. So that's how I got started. And I so just began. And that's dug a, in. And that's about two years ago now, because you kind of experimented about two years ago, and then 
coming up this fall was yeah, when you really two kind years of, for the business. Okay, yes. kind of launched it. And how did the first months and, and first year go while the you were first letting people know about them? A little slow. It was, I still had orders, but it would be you know one, two, three a week, mm -hmm. and then maybe nothing for the rest of the month, okay. or maybe one a week, and and just just kind of sporadic here and there. Christmas was still busy that first mm -hmm. year, but not nearly as busy it was as it was last year. Okay, and the holidays are very very busy, and I've done this year. Last summer I didn't have any orders at all, and this summer I am, have multiple orders all summer long. I did a lot of graduations this year. I've done baptismal um, cake pops. I've done Fourth of July. I have done birthdays, many, many birthdays, okay. and just holiday gatherings, events. I've done several events. The Young Life Cake Auction, I did that okay. along with the St. Mary's and the Build a Barn. Those are great ways to be out so there. Fundraisers. Kind of, fundraisers, inexpensive mm -hmm. ways for you to kind of get the word out too, where it, you know, not necessarily traditional advertising, but just getting them in people's hands is going to be your best seller. And I was going to say word of mouth, but it's it really is word of mouth. It's because they're tasting it. Yes. <laughs> and then they're saying, how do we get these? Where you're recommending it to a friend. And that's really what's what's happened, hasn't it? They've, they've had them or they've seen them and they said, what do you do and how do we get them, right? Exactly. I have my business cards everywhere I go and leave them when I drop off cake okay. pops to whether it's an event or an open house and people always call me as soon okay. as they see them and eat them and they love them and sure enough I get orders that way I've never advertised not in the paper not on TV not anywhere else mm -hmm. and so far it's just been my business card and word of mouth and that's it and it has kept me plenty busy and a lot of good taste so let's talk a little bit about some of the examples that you brought here let's start way over there with the pretty little summer summer bucket or beach pail it looks kind of like yes and is, is that sort of a basic pop that would be the, this okay. would be it's a I have strawberry uh, Cake pops. I have orange dream, lemon, and key lime mm. with the different colors, and okay. all the sugar is sugar is flavored also. Okay. And I have several different varieties of these little mini buckets, and I have bigger buckets. When I do a wedding or a big event, I have big canisters that the cake pops will cover the okay. whole area and hold about 50 cake pops. Okay. And then I have you know fun ones for kids that they have sprinkles, sprinkles everywhere <laughs> on them, and little fun designs and. Okay. For birthdays, the kids just go crazy oh, over I'm the sure. cake pops. They just on think they're stick. so fun. On a stick. It's cake on a stick with pretty little sprinkles yes. and all sorts of... These are gorgeous. Is that more something like you would use for a wedding? They're so delicate yes, and beautiful. Yes, these are the wedding ones, some of the designs that I make. I have a heart on this little one here. Okay. Sometimes I'll put it on top and do different swirls. I can write I do or love or nice. um, anything you want written on the cake pops. I can write it either in chocolate or with an edible marker. And as we see by the colors here, you can definitely customize that. So if yes. somebody's wedding color is, say, the color of your beautiful blouse here, you can make that happen. I can. All right. Yes. There's a little fun. No, that, I, I, all that I, it struck me when I first looked at these, I said, oh my goodness, how putsy. <laughs> <laughs> and they are, aren't they? This is the second hardest one that I make I is the football. Say, football it's the adorable. little football is, is difficult to make. It doesn't seem like it should be, but it is. Um, the birds are a little difficult too. And these are gluten-free cake pops here that I made okay, especially for you. Oh, thank so you'll you. Be able to have those. Well, it's good for our viewers to know that too that you have that option as well because mm -hmm. sometimes yeah, I have cake pops around. I might not be able to pops. take part, but now I could. I made a Hershey's kiss, and you'll notice on two of these I have wrappers on them, so they can be individually wrapped okay. and tied with any color ribbon that would match your theme. Okay. So if have. somebody wants to put, to, say somebody wants to put together a little gift basket of their own and give out cake pops. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you make them in quantities as few as what or as many as you need? I have had one, one for an order. order. For one. Yep. Okay. Someone wanted to just give a thank you to a friend okay. and, and and I've actually had a few s orders of just one okay. cake pop that they and just wanted to And I can see where that might be with the ones that get wrapped and tied yes. and given with a card or a something yes, other type of they gift. Are. Okay. Or if they're giving it out at a birthday party or in school or sure. at and work, they they're that. individually wrapped when I did the the Women's Day event for okay. the Oatana Clinic. I individually wrapped all of them so that the people that were leaving, they could take a cake pop or they could eat it there. Well, lots of time, so. lots of things to talk about, and we've, we're actually running out of time, but what we want to let our viewers know is that you can do 
Just about anything. I guess I would say make sure you ask Dawn what she can do. She's got cute little containers here with cupcakes to match or cake pops or little cakes to match. Um, all sorts of colors, all sorts of events, yes. all sorts of designs and all sorts of things. We've got your contact information there, which is uh, your phone number and I think an email address for you. And we just encourage our viewers to get to know Dawn and Cake Paparazzi and, and best of luck with your business. It sounds like it'll grow grow and grow and grow and uh, best of luck to you in the future Don. thanks so much well, for joining us thank you thanks for inviting me you're welcome don hovey and cake paparazzi and we'll take a break for our supporters and we'll be back to wrap up hi warren abraham abraham consulting technologies your one-stop technology shop we support the otana today show Hello, I'm Sean McNulty with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Clarebridge, and we're a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. Time to wrap up our program today, Cake Pops, and Secret Gardens, and again, we're glad to have you with us. A few announcements. Penny, the therapy dog, we want to announce. I know we are encouraging you to vote for her. Uh, she finished in fourth place in the voting that was going on for Hero Dog. There were 68 dogs nationwide, and uh, so we're very proud of Penny here in the area. She'll always be a Hero Dog to all of her friends in our community and the surrounding areas that they visit. And uh, so Jan and Penny, thank you for your support and helping us helping them to get as many votes as they did. And Penny's a wonderful, helpful dog. Steel County Safety Council uh, announces their next meeting coming up this Wednesday, July 18th. The topic is occupational noise, all types, and uh, it could be iPods, earphones, um, things, noise that's going on at work. They're going to be talking about that as a safety issue. Of course, as all of the meetings, they are at the Elks Club with an 11.30 to noon lunch buffet and then the noon to one presentation. If you have questions about it, please call Ken Dilmuth, uh, Steel County Safety Council President at 475-2185 and he'll be happy to give you more information. Coming up this Wednesday, July 18th, this Thursday, July 19th, and Friday, July 20th, it is the uh, Red Cross Blood Drive going on at St. Joseph's Church. Wednesday and Thursday hours are noon to 6, Friday is 8 to 1, and you're encouraged to call 1-800-733-2767 to make an appointment, or you can go online at redcrossblood.org. Uh, they will set up an appointment for you, and I know they encourage those, but they will always take walk-ins as well. There's going to be the first ever blood drive at Moose Lodge in Faribault this coming Thursday, July 19th, so if you miss one but can make the other, they'll be happy to have you over there as well. That will be from 12 to 6 and they are located next to Basher's Bowling Center across from Crown Cork and Seal. Their goal is 40 units of blood. Um, and they'll, they're also providing their hall for teen dances on Sunday, July 29th and Sunday, August 26th. So um, they thank you for any support that you're able to offer. That'll wrap up our program for today. Coming up on Wednesday, we'll have show supporter Owatonna Public Utilities joining us and Steel County Humane Society. So have a great day. We'll see you then. <laughs>